How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing my channel, please hit the subscribe button below. A thumbs up or a comment below would be fantastic. Yes, the game was on Wednesday night and we lost over in Germany. Three goals to one. People are asking me today on social media and just general face-to-face -face what I thought about the game on Wednesday night. Absolutely shambolic from Celtic. You know, um, this is what you're going to go against. Calibre in the Champions League where we're going in with our high hopes because we won the league and expecting us to progress out of this group. Which, I was one of them fans expecting that. I expected when we seen the draw of Red Bull, Shakhtar Donetsk and Real Madrid that we could have a chance of beating Shakhtar. We could have a chance of beating Red Bull. Take a chance away from home. And you know what? Not like some teams... Scottish teams in the Champions League, we actually score. We score. Even though we may get beaten, we score. Um, last night, we didn't take our chances, as we all know. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough as a fan perspective. We were bailed out of jail with two disallowed goals. They attacked our Franks. Jovanovic looked weak at times. Taylor obviously doesn't have the height. They targeted him. You know, Welch was too pushing up. And you've seen what happened for the first disallowed goal. He was miles up the pitch. Miles up the pitch when that ball was played. Maurice Jens got into the game in the second half. But our biggest killer is a captain. Like, losing the game, fair enough. They're getting them the three points. But losing Callum McGregor was the biggest kick of the teeth in the whole night. Because we all know how Callum is influential. How, how much of a leader he is. We don't know the extent of his injury. And said it's going to be bad. But... Hopefully he's not out for too long because you're seeing when he did get injured with his face injury last season when he came back into the squad, especially for that derby game against Rangers, you're seeing how much we missed him. We did help. Obviously last night, it's just the system didn't work. And Ange needs something raised to realise as much as he wanted his force win the Champions League. We all wanted that force win. The fans were phenomenal. It just does not work. We do need to change our strategy. I thought Yakimaka should have been brought on earlier into the game. James Forrest is past it. I don't care if these people are going to come on and start saying, oh, James Forrest is still a good player. He still has a lot to offer. So has a lot to offer. He barely comes on the league. Never mind the Champions League game. Hak Spanovic looked all over the shop. I thought Alingar, Alingar, when he came on, had an alright game, to be honest with you. But Joe Hart... I don't want Celtic fans being like, oh, Joe Hart's done, he's this and that. This time last year, everybody was absolutely praising Joe Hart for being a leader. It's Joe Hart's time to step up, get, get it right. He apologised about the mistake for the second goal. And to be honest with you, we're going to get caught out if we keep doing this real deep football and passing them, pass them back and forth between the defenders. It's not going to work all the time. Teams are going to press on us and we've been caught out a couple of times from it. And, you know, you can't do that in Europe, away from home. And I know he might think it's a safe ball, but kick the ball at the field. When Yakimakas or something comes on, or a taller player like Alingard, Alingard, we have height in there, the challenge for the ball. I just feel this Celtic team, I think the Champions League is too far ahead of, ahead of the game. We're the Europa League team. And even when we got beaten by Bola Glint, in the Conference League, I've set myself going up to us in the Champions League. We're going to get annihilated. And last night, some Celtic fans said to me in the brazen head, they were like, Keith, we can beat these at home. They're not that good of a team. And I was like, we got bailed out twice. Twice in tonight. I goes, we just didn't have battlers on that pitch. And Callum was the only one. Matt Arroyo spelled, surely battled for the ball. But we need to move on from it. We have a big game on Saturday against St. John's, which I'll be doing a preview for. But overall, can we still get through the group? If Real Madrid win all our games and we beat Red Bull at home and obviously get a result against Shakhtar in match day five, yeah, we have a chance. We still have a chance. For the time being, it looks like we'd be, you know, pushing for Europa League football. And it's not the worst competition. As I said at the start of the season, I'll take Europa League to obviously get a couple of results in the Champions League group stages and possibly get Europa League. But it's not over to the fast Sally sings. So let's see what happens. Let me know in the comments what you thought of Joe Hart's mistake. Are you you think he's done? Do you think we should be looking at 
if you're a keeper, are you happy with Joe Hart overall? Let me know. Let me know how you feel about the whole Callum McGregor injury. I think it's obviously it's going to affect us, the mentality of the team. We need someone in there. Aaron Moy can come in or James McCarthy, Al Allegard. Um, I don't think Adam's going to play James McCarthy. Is that Allegard or Aaron Moy? Well, Aaron Moy obviously missed last night, so hopefully he'll be good to go for St. Johnson away the weekend. So that's really it for me. I know it's a bit like nearly two days later, but I just thought I'd come on and have a chat, which is busy times at the moment. So do subscribe to the channel. I'll speak to you all soon. God bless. Hell, hell.